well, I don't know what happened. I don't know why he's suffering, but he's not doing good, and it just doesn't look like he's going to make it. I don't know what to do. I mean, I could treat the water again. I could try, but I'm going to give it a shot. I don't know why he's dying, but he was doing so much better, and then all of a sudden, he just took a turn for the worse. I don't know. Love's Life Aquatics! What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Mike Love's Life Aquatics here, and I'm coming up with a video telling you about my favorite fish. I have had this fish for over a week and a half, probably less than that, and he spent a lot of time what? in the quarantine tank, which is right here, with everyone in this tank. They were all in quarantine before I got this tank up and running. Daddy, and are to you put ready for your plate? Huh? Are you ready for your plate? Yeah, I'll come eat. Okay. And as I was saying, this is called a flagtail prochilotus. And you can tell by the distinct orange and black lines on the fish's tail and just the beautiful assortment of colors and just look at the just look at how the, the the fish's character is it's just very interactive he's close to five inches right now very close i got him or her from worldwide fish and pets i will put the link in the description to them because they actually got him here safe funny thing about him is he got here in one night overnight shipping and his bag was terribly dirty if you seen my last video you would know exactly what I'm talking about but a little bit of facts about the flagtail pressure lotus it has a uh, wide distribution throughout the central and western portions of the Amazon River it, it grows to an impressive size and will require a spacious aquarium from the outset now this aquarium is over a hundred gallons and it's over two feet wide so he's gonna have to reach at least 12 inches before there could be any kind of discomfort because like I said it's two feet wide so he can turn around but I have seen video footage of this fish over up to 18 inches long and they're supposedly which I gotta agree from right now one of the most friendliest fish to deal with all kind of predators because I have Oscars in here and Jack Dempsey so and African cichlids are in here as well and they are all aggressive fish but this fish is the you can just tell he is the main character of the tank he carries a lot of the the pizzazz the flair the glitz the glam okay the flagtail prochilotus can be a little bit sensitive so they recommend small partial water changes on a regular basis and it says also to provide them with either river rocks a sandy substrate and tangles and driftwood which as you can see I kind of have a little bit of that I have part of it you know and that's why this fish is actually very comfortable 
I didn't put real plants in there because they will eat any plants so those are artificial and they love algae so I went with artificial they said that I could give them uh, algae wafers yes Well, so I used uh, API General Cure. I'm giving it a shot, but it may be too far gone. We're gonna look, we'll see. Let that pump through his vein, pump through his gills, see what happens. I can't really do much else. I hope he makes it. All right, due to the unfortunate demise of my flag tail prostrolotus, I'm, uh, I'm gonna test my water and see if there's any, any problems in it because I don't believe there is. And I think he just came to me already sick and I did not do all the necessary things to save its life, but I thought I did because I did a lot of treatment. So we're gonna go check the water because when there's death, there's always new life. But I'm gonna test this water and find out what's going on. Oh yeah, we're in action. Okay, after doing the water change, only thing that it could have been is the general hardness right here general hardness of the tank which i measured and let me see what i get a good view on it I'm trying to do this with one hand so hard so it's right at so it's right uh come on camera on so it's bet it's about 120 so it says like 12 to 18, so that's pretty much round into that. 12 to 18 is right around where it's supposed to be. I don't know if a flag tail approach has has to have lesser hardness, but the fish was doing fine. My tank did it to him, so we're going to monitor this situation closely. I'm about to actually do a water change pretty much because that's going to be the quarantine tank. So whatever, if they come in, if it comes in with any... If it comes in with any kind of bacteria or parasites, I'm going to know about it in the quarantine tank before I introduce them to the big tank. All right, I'm just full of content. I got the uh, quarantine tank up and running for our visitors. As you can see, it's just a hang on back filter. I put a little cover on there so it doesn't get all sucked into the uh, filter. What's inside there is only some carbon, lava rock, and a sponge filter. So there's nothing in there really, nothing in there real serious. Like I said, it's just a quarantine tank, so it's just to take care of the water waiting to be transferred to their next tank. This tank so that it fits the same has the same levels and everything that they're gonna eventually go into after their quarantine period I'm ordering this these from a different place it's coming from predatory fins down in Florida as the flag tail process I got before was from worldwide fish and pets it came in beat up so no questions about that, but I also have an African cichlid in here from Worldwide Fish and Pets, and there's no problem with them whatsoever. He's fine. So, it might have just been the conditions of that fish due to the travel, you know, maybe. So, we're going to leave it at that.
Okay, during this portion of the video, I'm going to leave the actual audio out because I had just woke up and tell you the truth, I was a little irritated. There's five people in this house and my box sat outside for an hour. This is about 1023 to 1024 when I'm out here. The box sat out here from 923 to the time that I just got out here. So I was a little irritated, so I didn't want to put what I really was saying <laughs> on this. And I want to save a lot of this portion for when I introduce when I introduce the new fish. This this video was more about, you know, the death of my flag tail Prochilotus and me bringing a new one into the house and promising to be more careful and take better care of this particular fish. All right, guys, it's been a few hours since uh, we introduced these guys to the uh, quarantine tank. And I'm going to turn the light on so you can just see how they're doing. Light probably spooked them. But this is just to document the process. And you can see it looks fine. they look fine. They're looking around. They're swimming. Everything's good. A description of all the fish I get will be in a video. And there's obviously going to be more fish in this tank I don't want you to see because it's going to be in another video. So this wraps it up. Sorry for the glass having all the streaks on it, but, but I'm determined to keep this fish alive. This is my, this has been marked my favorite fish ever since I saw it on YouTube. I've done research on it and just, I adore this fish very much. So I, I can't be, I can't deal with having another one die on my watch. So. Like I said, this came from predatory fins and it came in a, a lot better condition than the other one. Just like I said, I showed you in the other videos, you could see the see earlier in this video, the difference on arrival. So thanks for watching. I appreciate you spending your time with me. And uh, this is Mike, Love Life, Mike Loves Life Aquatics. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm signing off. If you ain't reaching for the stars, while you reaching, I'm out. Okay guys, tonight was the night. We were gonna do the drawing for everyone that put their name on here. We put Scotty on here.